and welcome to our tutorial series on Bird Dog Cloud, the ultimate remote video production platform. I'm your host, Jake Feynman, and I'm excited to guide you through another episode. Today, I will show you how to send and receive your NDI streams between your cloud endpoints. We will create an outgoing connection from one location, select our desired source, and then select the final output destination. It couldn't be any easier. As always, I will break down every step of the process to ensure you're fully equipped to leverage the power of BirdDog Cloud. So let's jump right in. First, let's log into the BirdDog Cloud dashboard from your web browser at app.birddog.cloud. As you can see, I've added a lot more endpoints since the last time. Let's select one of our endpoints. When an endpoint is selected, it'll display the current incoming and outgoing streams to and from that endpoint. Connections can be stopped and started to enable quick streaming between sites. For this session, I'll send a camera from Bird Dog John's office to my production studio here in Monterey. I'll select the support office endpoint and create an outgoing connection. When we press the plus button in the bottom section of our selected endpoint, a window displays all the different outgoing connection types Bird Dog Cloud has to offer. We will go through each of these throughout the tutorial series but for now, we'll start with the second option. This is our endpoint to endpoint via SRT. On our left-hand side, we have a list of all the NDI sources currently on the network with that endpoint. Everything from PTZ NDI sources to converters to your software NDI content can be sent across your NDI site-to-site -site links. It's time to select the source that we want to send. I'll choose John's P4K. Now we need to select the target destination. This is the endpoint that you want to send your source to. I'll pick my Monterey endpoint. Now we need to pick the connection type. We have four options here. Single, multi-view, multi-stream, and uncompressed audio. In this video, we will set a single stream. In our later videos, we will create custom multi-views, send multiple streams over the same link with multi-stream, and even transmit uncompressed audio from site to site. After that, we have an auto-populated port number. This port is where the sender and the receiver initiate their handshake, allowing for direct streaming over SRT. SRT stands for Secure Reliable Transport. We utilize SRT within Bird Dog Cloud to stream between our locations, enabling the effortless and impactful remote production collaboration required in today's video production. SRT has three connection type modes. These can be found on the second tab, rendezvous, caller to listener, and listener to caller. In rendezvous mode, the two endpoints reach out to each other over the same port number across the internet to initiate a handshake. In caller to listener mode, the caller contacts the listener's public IP and port number to initiate that same handshake. The listener has their port number forwarded to their cloud endpoint, allowing the connection to occur. In listener to caller, it's the opposite. The listener has their port number open, forwarded, and waiting for that caller to call in. It's important to note that it does not matter if the stream is incoming or outgoing. This SRT initiation is only for the connection between endpoints to ensure we have that point-to-point -point streaming. We also find our latency, overhead, and encryption settings in this SRT tab. We can fine tune the SRT latency for a reliable stream for the appropriate error correction time across the link if there are internet interruptions during transmission. We can encrypt the connection to the location to ensure secure transmission with AES 128, 192, and 256 bit encryption. Let's move back to the first tab and set our display name. This name will be shown as the destination network so let's make sure that it's recognizable and related to your source. I'll set this to Bird Dog John PTZ. If the display name is not filled out, the stream name will be the source's NDI name plus the port number that it's being sent across. Next, we'll enable NDI metadata. This is one of my favorite features. You can send the NDI, PTZ, and tally information across the link enabling you to have PTZ control with your NDI PTZ controllers or directly through Studio Monitor. When that source is selected in your TriCaster, VizVector Plus, or vMix, or even any NDI switcher, the program and preview tally lights will be sent from endpoint to endpoint, 
ensuring that your talent is notified and ready for their on-air status. Now let's press connect. We'll see a spinning connection icon and then a link icon to notify us that we're good to go. Because we enabled our thumbnail preview refresh in the last episode, we'll start to see a reference image of our stream from Bird Dog John Studio populating. Now it's time for the best part. Let's open NDI Studio Monitor, select the cloud endpoint, then we'll see Bird Dog John's PTZ source. John's camera is now streaming across to my production studio network, enabling me to pull in his stream into my vision mixers or even output them directly to a video monitor or display using any of my Bird Dog decoders. That wraps up this tutorial on sending and receiving streams between our cloud endpoints. Thank you again for joining me on this journey into the powerful world of Bird Dog Cloud. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will dive into creating more outgoing connections and stream directly to our Cloud Connect suite of applications. I'll show you how to send your content right through cloud to your iOS, Apple TV, and Android devices. If you'd like to explore more about BirdDog and our ecosystem of industry-changing solutions, please visit our website at birddog.tv. If you have any questions or need further information on the topics that we covered today, please contact us at hello at birddog.tv. If you are a BirdDog user who needs technical support with your gear, please email us at help at birddog.tv. Our technical support team is available and happy to assist. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today. Keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep creating amazing content. We look forward to having you join us in the next episode. Until then, happy producing.